In a new country with very old traditions, Lithuania and its people embrace the West, but do things their way. So given that, and ahead of the game on Friday, don't expect taxi drivers to be talking football. For football, are not... Uh, <laughs> For, for Lithuania, it's not a big game. Not, not many people like. Even in the local TV studios, the sports department certainly know their audience. For us, uh, for our country, it is normal that uh, our basketball team would play in the, those major championships. And in football, we never qualified for FIFA World Cup, we never qualified for European Championships. So that is probably the, the main case why, why we are actually, the basketball is number one. But all is not lost for fans of Lithuanian football. Here at the National Football Academy in Kaunas, there's one man in particular who's keen to change things. And the goal for this former Harps director, simple, make football king. By the number of uh, kids playing football and basketball, we already surpassed the basketball. And knowing that the basketball has a tremendous result here in the, in the World uh, Championships, in the European Championships, in the Olympics, it's difficult to fight because people are really glory hunters in, in this country and uh, they want results. And with top-class facilities in the state-of-the-art academy, they may soon get them. Here they school and train the elite under one roof, but the locals must be convinced a win on Friday would help. If you want to qualify, you need to take three points at every home match and try to steal some points away. So, simple formula, that means that the match at home is very important, it's crucial, and if we can get with four points after two matches, it would be the perf perfect start for us. And the perfect way to help Lithuanians' best talent convince their country that they are number one.